Hey gang, show buddy Platt here, and today I have another value spirit uh, to talk about uh, in this particular video. We're going to cuss and discuss Four Roses Bourbon. I purchased this particular bottle for $22.99, so it's a sub $25 bottle of bourbon. So anytime you can get below $25, usually uh, that's a, a decent deal for bourbon these days. The origin of Four Roses, however, is a little unclear. There's a couple of conflicting stories on how Four Roses got started. Uh, some say it was founded by a gentleman named Rufus Matthewson Rose, along with his brother and his two sons, thus the Four Roses. Now, it's really hard to confirm that, but what we do know about Rufus Rose is that he did own and run a distillery in the Atlanta area mid to late 1860s post-Civil War, and uh, I believe the company was somewhat uh, successful, but uh, shorter lived. Uh, uh, I believe they were already out of business pre-prohibition. Now, according to the company's website, they claim the origin of Four Roses comes from uh, a gentleman named Paul Jones Jr., who supposedly founded the company. The name Four Roses supposedly comes from he was smitten with a young lady at the time, and she wore a corsage of four roses to show her love. Really cute little story. Sounds great on the website. We don't know how true that is. Uh, they claim that uh, Mr. Jones trademarked the name in 1888, and it says that even on top of the bottle, but that he claimed that he had been making this bourbon since the mid to late 1860s post-Civil War. Um, who who knows um again conflicting reports but that's what the company uh says is their origin um the brand itself was successful for a while until prohibition it was allowed to continue to produce medicinal whiskeys uh at the time so that's how they got through prohibition now the brand was eventually sold to seagrams in 1943 Seagram's actually discontinued the brand here in the U.S. to focus on their blended whiskeys. And if you know Seagram's, Seagram 7, Seagram's VO, Crown, uh, that is their forte. However, they did continue to sell the brand overseas in Europe and Japan, and it gained a strong following. Now, eventually, it was decided to bring back the brand in 1994, some roughly 50 years later. Uh, Mid-90s, we saw Jim Beam introducing their... Knob Creek, Booker's, their ultra premium line. So Four Roses uh, coming back in 94 was about the right time for that. Uh, today, the brand is actually owned by Karen Brewing uh, out of Japan. Japan. I was kind of surprised to hear that. I did not know they were into the spirits end of the business. So that again, that's kind of interesting to note. Uh, one thing, too, that Four Roses does that I kind of find unique, and I, I don't know why, but when I heard about it, I'm like, wow, that's genius, right? They basically have two mash bills and five strains of yeast. So between the combination of two, they end up they can produce basically ten different bourbons off that variation. Uh, they have a higher rye mash bill, and then they have a more typical uh, rye mash bill. Uh, I believe their corn ratios in the sixty to seventy-five uh, range. As far as this uh, particular bourbon being a value spirit, uh, there's several. Uh, websites out there that uh, make that claim. Uh, the magazine called Pace Magazine claims it's one of the best values in bourbon. Uh, Mash and Grape says it's actually one of the best bourbon for cocktails. I'm going to find that out myself a little bit later. Uh, Spruce Eats ranks this as one of the seven best cheap bourbons. And Whiskey Advocate says this is one of the best bourbons under $30. So uh, the writers, the blogs, whatever, uh, concur that they believe this is a good value in bourbon. Let's check it out for ourselves, see if we have something there. Oh, well, the smell's nice. I, I, gotta, I gotta give it that. Um, uh, give another nose. Now, I can pick up a little bit of that rye uh, on the nose array, a little little heat now this is only 80 proof so it's not necessarily alcohol that's producing that kind of heat on the nose it's probably that rye let's give her a little taste Ooh, that's nice really smooth uh, but again has that pop that 
that bite of rye. Uh, it's not over the top though, but it's there. It's some of the, some people would say your weeded style bourbons in the Maker Mark vein are a little too soft. Um, does not have that traditional tr taste. If you think about older bourbons, your old granddads and stuff, and the wild turkey or whatever, you kind of think of that a little more of a rye bite, uh, and a little more of aggressive spirit. This is that to a certain extent, but again, uh, plenty smooth. Um, it's not going to overpower you. Uh, this is not one of those things that you have to be a crusty old man to drink. Uh, yeah, real nice. You know, has that traditional corn sweetness in the front front of the tongue, um, but it's not some of those sweet bourbons. You can almost get a viscousness from that sweetness. That is not this. Um, as far as body wise. Uh, to me, it's almost slightly lighter in the body-wise. That's just what I'm getting. Um, um, as far as um, finish, medium, medium, minus finish. It doesn't linger that long in your mouth. Um, I don't get much past the mid-tongue. So it's not something that necessarily lingers in the back of your mouth, but just a nice, smooth bourbon, a little bit of that rye bite, enough sweetness up front, under $25, which I, I think if you've been in the liquor store lately, you not you know you don't see a lot of quality necessarily under that $25 mark. So again, this is kind of what uh, this series is about, talking about just good, you know, a good spirit at the price, which I think that's what we're all looking for. You know, to a certain extent, uh, some people, and then I guess if I was back in my college days, we just wanted cheap. Uh, now I enjoy a good value. I'll I'll pay an extra buck or two, so I don't I don't need the eleven dollar bottle of bourbon. Um, but under twenty five, I get a good bourbon. I do appreciate that, and I think that's what we have here at Four Roses. Well, I hope you appreciate. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good product. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or spirits that you think are a good value, you can leave them in the comment section or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.